In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing and review for the Fosmet smartwatch. The model number is LGW6 and it's $60 on Amazon at the time of this recording. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I don't have any sponsors and I only do these honest reviews for you. Okay. All right, we have a manual on how to operate it, how to download the app. So we have a magnetic USB connector for charging and we have a really nice stainless steel band. So if you want a classic look, you can select this band. We have a bunch of pins. So if you want to replace the band, if you lose them, you're going to have replacements. And we have the tool for changing the band. Here's the watch itself. So the size is 1.4 inch in diameters and it's a pretty nice size. I like it. It has a really nice design also. And actually the dial matches the color of the stainless steel band. And I think I'm going to replace it with this one. And we have a sensor on the back as well. Hopefully it's going to have a correct reading and stuff like that. Okay, so the app is called Glory Fit. So this is the overall look of the watch. It reminds me of like an old Casio watch. I mean, the screen quality is really good and nice, sharp, very detailed. And we have this dial on the right. Oh, that changes the visuals of the watch. That's a really nice. I mean, honestly, the screen is really high quality comparing to the other watches that I tested before. It looks really good. So let's change it. We have this one as well. And it's just three dials on the watch. You can probably add more custom dials in the app and we can go to the menu and the touch sensitivity is really good as well. It's very responsive. I like it. It shows this is going to be a good watch because most of the watch at this price point I tested, they are kind of slow and they don't do well. But the response is very good on this watch. So we have daily activities, call, heart rate, uh, blood oxygen, training, blood pressure, sleep, weather, music, messages, breeze rate, um, one click measurement, alarm clock, voice assistant, SOS, toolbox, and the settings. And at the bottom, if you press the sport button, we have the all of the sports here. We have the outdoor run, cycling, skipping, badminton, table tennis, tennis. All the sports are included. So they have tons of sports here, actually. Everything is included. So, and we are connected. So the connection was seamless, super fast. We're going to have a Bluetooth call with the watch. We can change the watch faces. So we have a dial center. Okay, we have a tons of additional dial faces right here. It's just loading. That's a lot more dial faces. They are nice. Yeah, I think this one should be good. Let's just synchronize and it's gonna download and install it on the watch. Okay, for some reason it doesn't get past this data preparation and I can't install the watch faces to the watch. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on and I can't even exit at this point. So I have to close the app. Maybe there's some bugs with the app. I'm not sure. So, and we have the heart rate monitor is turned on. We can set a threshold. If it goes higher than the heart rate, it's going to vibrate. And it, if it drops down below the heart rate, it's going to give you a warning and vibrate it as well. So we have the blood oxygen. We have the auto test time period that's good and we have a call reminder okay so if somebody calls you it's gonna remind you on the watch i'm gonna turn it on sms reminder the message reminder we're gonna turn that on as well and uh, we have an app reminder so we need to give it permission to show us the app reminder so so as you can see if we get notification on any of these apps it's gonna give us a notification on the watch so let's say i'm gonna do I don't know, Instagram, Messenger, emails, Gmails, and uh, we have all of it here. And we can even select more apps that we have installed on our phone. Their app is kind of slow in my opinion, and there's some bugs usually with these apps. I guess that's what it is. They need to update their app. It doesn't even pop up here. Okay, that's fine. We have an option for sedentary reminder. So if you're sitting for long hours, it's going to give you a reminder to get up, move. And uh, we have a raise hand to activate the display that's turned on. Usually when you 
every smartwatch has it that's good and we have a sms quick reply so we have a bunch of uh, quick reply options that you can select on the watch uh, if you want to ignore the call so i call you later stuff like that i'm going to turn it on we have uh, universal settings okay so we have a remote shutter you can use the watch to take pictures so it's going to be taking pictures as well that's pretty cool and we have the option to find bracelets so if i press that option it's going to vibrate i don't know if you can hear it but it vibrates vibration is nice it's, it's okay it's not really heavy and we have a bracelet looking for mobile phone okay so it works vice versa so you can look for your phone on the watch as well and we have also sos call you can add your emergency numbers here if you press the sos on your watch it will contact them on everyone on this list and if i go to the home page it will show me the steps heart rate and all of the analytic data that you might need and we also have the sports tab here and uh, it will show your location you can change between different sports and if you press go three two one and it will start tracking your uh, sport whatever and you can basically do what paused. and you can end it finished and that's it so that's good it's going to use the sensor to track you and that's pretty much the app here this is the look of it on my wrist it's pretty comfortable nice and very light one thing i i noticed i think the the bezels and it's like plastic it's not really uh, stainless steel and that helps with the weight but it looks nice that's what i'm thinking i'm not sure if that's the case but that's what i get uh the feeling it's not really uh steel it's like i don't know it looks plastic but it looks nice it's just like it's like a good plastic though it's not bad okay let's try some of the features of this watch okay if i press this so let's see the daily activities right now it's measuring the activity basically using the sensors weekly steps and stuff like that something is happening i'm not sure what it is it says dial synchronization is it like installing the custom dial right now oh we just got it for some reason the custom dial happened right now i mean it's been a, it's been a while but we got it uh, at least it shows it works so that's fine we have one more custom dial here that's cool if i swipe on the right we go to the daily activity and we have a sleep pattern we have a heart rate let's just see the heart rate measurement i'm pretty calm right now and that's the real-time data i'm at 72 should be yes yeah, right doing it right now and if i scroll down it's just gonna give me the heart rate in the past in a different days that's good so we have a, an analytic data as well blood oxygen this is another feature on this watch so let's see how much is my blood oxygen 97 99 percent so that's i guess that's good i have enough oxygen in my blood but it's not finished yet so i'm just gonna wait to see how long does it take to finish the measurement I'm at 97% and it recorded that uh, data for today. Okay, that's good. I, I have no idea what this measurement is. 130 over 73. We also have the weather. It's connected to my phone. So it's just getting the information. And we can also add custom components. So we have all of this. We can add call, training, music as well. So let's add the music so let's play music okay i didn't expect this watch to have a speaker and we have a speaker on this side and it's actually good i mean it wasn't terrible i mean it's not the greatest but it's good but the thing is you can only play pause and go to the previous uh next music and change the volume actually on the watch so you can really skip through the song that's what it is 
that's what happens when you swipe right so let's see what happens when you swipe left so when we swipe left we go to the basically the menu system of this watch and that's basically the same thing as pressing the menu button as well and if i swipe up we go to the messages this is uh, empty right now there's no messages and if i swipe down we should be getting some quick menu options we have the call i'm going to turn it on we have uh oh the we can change the menu system as well we have different functions so uh this one let's see how does it look oh it just gives you like a apple uh, system but it's not quite well done it's very small but that's something we have here it's not bad it's not terrible and uh, let's see if i can take it back and we have another one so it's going to be like a dial system here you can change but i prefer the first one better i'm going to switch back to that and we have a moon so it's going to make your watch mute basically so we have option to raise the watch if you want to use it so if you want to turn it off you can turn it off here and we have option for the brightness we can change it i'm going to go maximum for now and we have another page as well so we have a mute option here as well so this option is for finding your phone so when i press it it should ring on my phone but the phone doesn't ring i guess and we have a battery saving mode okay and we also have a flashlight option so it's going to be a bright white screen and we also have an option to go to the setting from that quick menu uh, button right there so that's what we getting on the home page let's go to the menu and check it one by one uh, like i said we have the call option we can go through the contacts call logs and dial pad so we can uh, call a random number basically and it's using the phone to complete your call to speak to a customer service representative please hang up and dial star 611 announcement Okay, I mean, uh, the speaker is actually pretty good. I really like the speaker uh, and it does call that that function is working. Let me call myself from another number. So the phone is ringing and it shows me the number. So let's just answer it. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. And we also have an option to mute the call, which is pretty cool and we can change the volume and all also we can hang up the phone that's pretty neat let's try again I'm gonna, and i'm gonna test the rejection uh, text and it's gonna have some quick replies and i'm gonna select wait a minute it will be here soon or i'll call you later okay your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system okay so what it does is actually rejecting the call and uh, and the call goes to voicemail that's cool and you also send the text message that I was expecting so I'll call you later okay that's a pretty good function the microphone and the speaker works really great on this watch and I'm really happy about that function which is really useful I mean this is one of the best ones that I had so far and in terms of the quality let's go back so the the call was working fine the heart rate we already tested out the heart rate and we had the blood oxygen we tested it before we have the training so it goes to the sport mode we also have the blood pressure so this is the blood pressure measurement that i didn't know before and it measured the blood pressure and i was at 130 over 73 i'm not sure if that's good bad i have no idea and we have a sleep mode so if you're having your watch while you're sleeping it's going to give you a sleep pattern how deep was your sleep how long was your light sleep how many hours you were awake and how many hours you were in the REM sleep okay and we had the weather we had the music I already tested that one out we have the messages which is empty right now and we can control our breathing okay so it's just measuring i am in normal state so that's good and we have a one click measurement so it's gonna measure everything okay we already have the data so if you come to this one it's gonna measure your heart rate your blood oxygen and your breathing so we can press measure again so it's just gonna measure everything again and we have 
also an alarm clock. So you can set the alarm and let's go. Okay, so we get the notification for the alarm. You can snooze it or just ignore it. And it just vibrate. White vibration is not really powerful, but decent. I mean, I didn't expect it that it's not gonna actually do an alarm. It's just vibrates. Maybe we can ch check the setting that it actually give us an alarm. Going back, we have a voice assistant. How's the weather today? Okay, so it just pulls the data from the phone and using the speaker of this watch is giving me the uh, whatever happening with the voice. Uh, but this thing is voice assistant volume on all of the watches that I tested at this range and price point are very low. I don't know how to increase the volume and it's the same for every watch and this watch is not different so the volume is really low but it's working and that's good we have a sos so if you set up the uh, sos list on your app it's going to be contacting those numbers so we have a stopwatch timer here you can do the stopwatch and we have a timer so you can track the time two minutes you can do that we have different options. I don't know. You can also do the custom one. That's good. And we have a flashlight. We already checked that out. Find phone. The find phone function doesn't work. So it just vibrate on the watch for some reason. And we have a remote camera. I need to open the app to use this feature. So this function doesn't work with your phone camera app. And it has to go through the app that you installed for this watch. That's a little bit of work. I mean, if you go to the app, there's uh, many steps to get to that option. You have to go to the universal setting, go to the remote shutter, and then you can use the phone as a remote shutter. So if I press, it's giving me a timer and it's gonna capture the picture. But that's kind of a hassle. Uh, I don't think anybody gonna use that. And uh, we also have a calculator. So you can do calculation for students. It might be a good option. And that's the menu basically. And we can go to the settings. So we can change the dials here. We have different one here, or you can use this dial here to change it on the menu. And we have a always on display. I'm gonna use always on display. We have a date and time feature. We have a 24 hour time. I'm gonna do it to 12 hour. And we have a screen time. We have up to 60 seconds of a screen time. That's good. And we have a sound and vibration, volume adjustments here, vibration. Okay, the vibration was low. I'm gonna go high on the vibration. Okay, actually the vibration on the high is decent. It's better than the uh, medium one. And the phone audio is on mute mode. We'll turn off the ringtone of incoming calls except for alarms okay so i'm gonna turn that off we can do the password so if somebody is trying to use your watch they need to put in the password and we have a raise to wake is on do not disturb we have that option and that's pretty much what we can do with this watch we have all the sports i guess that's decent that's good you can see but the sensor is working overall in my opinion this is a really nice watch and the screen quality is good, the audio quality is good, microphone is good, uh, we can check and, and call quality was good, you can do that option. Okay, so we can just receive text, we cannot really reply to text and you need to use your phone to do that, but I can't delete that. I mean, I wish we could reply back or something, but I mean, at this price point, like, that's something a little bit extra. And this is the look of the watch with this band. It's a little bit long, so you need to use this tool to make it shorter for yourself. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any question about this watch. I will answer them to the best of my knowledge in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.